Hello all dinosaurs and welcome to probably my most epic video ever Cause we have plenty of cool dinosaurs right over here Okay, we have a repainted super colossal T-Rex right at the back Which I'm gonna show you guys really soon And check this out guys We have the Legacy Museum Collection Mosasaurus Have you guys seen my review on this? Please go and check it out if you haven't do so. So it probably, I mean, it took me and Mrs. Dan to actually unbox this really, really fantastic looking, the best ever Mosasaurus figure ever to be produced, okay? So I'm gonna put this right behind me, okay? So please go and check it out, you know, um, link down below. And of course, we have this new Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus, okay? Have you guys seen my review on this? So I got this recently. This is the new 2021 Extreme Chomping Spinosaurus. And the paint work of this looks really, really amazing. Check this out, guys. So there's shades of red, brown, and um, um, beige color right over here. So it looks really cool. So as usual, this button triggers the jaw, all right? And next up, guys, please, Comment down below what name should we give this Super Colossal T-Rex. Check this out, guys. So I basically repainted this on my own, but Mrs. Dan helped me to repaint the eyes. So you guys can see, it is looking very cool. It's looking really realistic. You can see the pupil. It has a nice wet look. And this looks like, you know, I got my inspiration from, you know, like forests and jungle. So this could probably be known as Jungle T-Rex, I'm not too sure, so I need the help of you guys to give this a super cool name. Probably like Hawk, Tyrannosaurus, Hawk, I'm not too sure because it's green in color. It is still work in progress, I'm gonna repaint um, the teeth and the claws, but this is more or less done, like 90% done. I'll be doing some retouching, gonna be adding scars to on the neck, so stay tuned for my review video on this, okay? So I want you guys to please help me think of a cool name, okay? Think of a cool name for this repainted um, dinosaur. So right over here, I think last week we have just purchased 30 different prehistoric animals and um, um, dinosaurs. So let's take a look at this. What is this actually? Is this a Caprosuchus? I think so. And this is from Schleich. Really love this. It reminds me of a modern day crocodile, okay? Next up, we have more items right over here. We have a Dan Surprise mask, face mask, which I'm gonna show you guys later on. Okay, um, some of our recent additions include this Lithronex, which is a Tyrannosaur, okay? Terrence Tyrannosaur, which I've just purchased last week. Next up, what about this? Imagine next Indominus Rex. Looks pretty cool. This is actually a new item. So check this out, guys. You can actually rotate the tail. You twist it up and down, and um, the neck and the head will just move along. It is pretty fun. And if you take a look at the face, it looks pretty cute as well. Very nice eyes, and the spikes are actually painted in blue, so I really like it as well. It gives the Indominus Rex a really vibrant look and feel. All right, some of the other new additions last week, okay, a few weeks ago, we've actually purchased this. This is actually a Lysanops. Uh, a prehistoric animal from Jurassic Park all the way back in 1997, I think. Let's take a look. Um, yeah, probably 1990s. So this is a pretty rare and vintage um, figure. We also got this Imagine Next Allosaurus, okay? It came along with the Ranger, so this is really nice. It's blue in color, you can actually move the jaw, you can see the eyes are translucent and transparent, okay? Very nicely detailed. And um, one of the sort of part which I've been trying to find is actually this um, one right here, Platyosaurus. I don't have many of this, so this is actually from Collecte. So this will add nicely into our sort of part collection, which we will be doing a review, I mean, a collection video really soon. Not too sure, have you have you guys seen my um, repainted ind um, Indoraptor? So this is actually known as the Indoraptor Galaxy or other Galaxy Indoraptor. I think this, is, this looks really cool. So Mrs. Dan came up with the name for this uh, Indoraptor. All right, okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, this Spinosaurus was added recently. This is actually a Jurassic Park rubber saw made of rubber, okay? 
and this one was added as uh, very recently as well I think two to three weeks ago this is a react attack um, Spinosaurus as you guys can see if you twist the tail or um, the neck will move along as well the jaw can be open but I'm not too sure how to operate this it's no longer working the sounds are not no longer working as well but probably it will still work if we change the batteries okay um, some of the latest Ten Cretaceous action figures we have this um, Plesiosaurus which is a repainted um, Plesiosaurus as you guys can see this blue looks really nice you can move the neck you can move the jaw once you press this button all the four flippers will um, flap yep and this was also added recently this is a Camp Cretaceous Sticky Moloch Savage Strike we have the Galling Mimers as well which is a repainted version so last week We've got plenty of um, smaller figures. This is from Collecte, a Cryolophosaurus. I think it's known as a co-crested lizard. I can't really remember, so I need to have a view, guys, okay? Baryonyx Green was added pretty recently as well, definitely in my last 100 um, dinosaurs. And check this out, guys. This looks like a cousin of the Amagosaurus, but I'm not too sure, so please help me down below. This is actually known as the Bajadosaurus. All right, it looks pretty cool. Probably found in, I'm not too sure, Asia or India. I can't remember, so comment down below, okay? More Imagine Next figure right over here. This is actually a Tyrodactyl, okay? From Jurassic World as well. So you can see the eyes are translucent. You can move the neck, the wings can be flat, the legs can be moved. Pretty cool figure. It will appeal to younger kids, definitely. And check this out, this was the latest Monolophosaurus from Mattel, a Savage Strike Monolophosaurus. So as you guys can see, you press this tail, the jaw will just move along. Cool figure, nice repaint, I actually love this a lot. And what about this? Another sauropod, and this is known as a Brontosaurus, if I'm not wrong. Yes, Brontosaurus was actually a species which the paleontologists thought didn't really exist. But recently, I mean in recent years, they actually concluded that this is indeed a species on its own. Okay, what about this? This is a new Dimorphodon which has been added to my collection very recently as well. You guys can probably scan the code if you want to right over here. Okay, um, let's see, let's see. What about this one? Okay, I've, so I've basically got this Sticky Moloch basic figure from my local Toys R Us, alright? So this is pretty rare. I've only... I mean, I have the T-Rex, I have the blue uh, Velociraptor, but this is something which I didn't see online, but was really lucky to, 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 to spot this in Toys R Us, yeah. Check this out. Another pretty unknown species, and this is actually known as a Mentalosaurus. Yeah, I think this species should be, you know, it is actually in a drinking position, so you guys can see. I'm not too sure. This is probably related to an iguanodon, because if you take a look at the face, the dark built mouth, it reminds me of an iguanodon. Okay, all right. This is a Cam Cretaceous or um, Ceratosaurus, which is really, really... um hard to find for me so I actually went on to eBay to purchase this okay and this is a new addition a reball reball grab and go t-rex grab and go t-rex meaning it is actually not one of the premium figures from reball this is actually very lightweight and hollow so it's pretty inexpensive as well as compared to many of the figures okay we have plenty of other new species right over here what is this are you guys able to see what this is? Let's see, let's see. Let's check out the name. This is actually known as an Ampelosaurus, which is another sauropod. So I'm trying to build my sauropod collection to do a nice collection video for you. And this is definitely one of the rarer species to find for a figure. All right, what about this one right here? Another huge sauropod, but this should be a Diplodocus standing upright it's gonna look really nice in my shelf. So let's check it. Check this out. Yes, this is a 2013 Diplodocus. All right, cool figure. All right, okay. let's take a look at this face mask right over here. So I'm gonna rip this open. So you can actually purchase one of this face masks. This is made in USA. 
okay, from Spring Tea. So this is a dance surprise. Um, you know, I'm a dinosaur face mask. There are more um, dance surprise merch. Which I'm gonna put a link down below. You guys can, you know, um, purchase dance surprise merchandise like T-shirt. I'm, you know, Rossum. Stay Rossum. Where? So this one is actually a Styracosaurus. A very recent addition. You guys should know this. And this is a cool figure which I've got last week, okay, from Peppo. This is a repainted Allosaurus. So this version has more colors as compared to the older version. And check this out. Not too sure. You know, you guys may prob probably think this is a Dimetrodon, but this is not. This is actually a species known as Adiphosaurus. Could be closely related to the Dimetrodon. You can see the huge sail. It is not exactly a dinosaur, more like a prehistoric um, reptile. So you guys can see, it reminds us of a uh, modern day monitor lizard. Have you guys ever seen a monitor lizard? There are plenty of monitor lizard in my um, uh, in my place. So this is a baby T-Rex from Collecte. It still has this little tag to it. Tyrannosaurus Rex baby. Okay, let's move on. Okay, what about this? This one right here is another sauropod. So check this out. This is actually a Camptosaurus. Looks really cute. Another um, species which I don't really have. I think this is probably my first ever. Okay. Um, this was added to our collection recently as well. This is actually known as an Albertosaurus. A battle damaged Albertosaurus. Okay, got this. I really love this paint scheme as you guys can see. It's a very nice turquoise sheet and the scars across the body looks you know really cool as well okay so i'm gonna flip this over okay gonna flip this over because we have got plenty of pnso figures very recently and this is actually one of them this is actually a baryonyx looks really really well detailed looks really awesome one of the best looking baryonyx figures caprasuchus Okay, I got this probably like last month or two months ago, a Caprosuchus. So awesome, this is a Papo Caprosuchus, which reminds us of a modern day alligator. Looks really, really fantastic. We have plenty of Jurassic Park minifigures. This is actually from a chest set. You can see this is a T-Rex. We have um, a Velociraptor. This is probably not blue i don't think this is blue okay and speaking of t speaking of t-rex we have this really beautiful and well done you know really magnificent um tyrannosaurus rex from pnso as you guys can see the build of this t-rex is quite chubby as you guys can see it is very well fed all right let's move on let's move on um probably need the help of you guys to name this and color sorry right over here this is this a Boreala Pelta from PNSO? I can't really remember because PNSO they always come up with you know figures that are very unknown. But this one I can definitely 100% recognize that this is actually a Spinosaurus. Very cool looking Spinosaurus, quadrupedo. The sail, the shape looks really fantastic. Okay. Let's move on. We have a Sakosuchus right over here, which is a um, massive biter Sakosuchus. This paint scheme is really amazing. It looks very, very retro-like. Um, at the same time, it looks really modern as well. So I really love this um, turquoise and this orange splash of paint across the entire body. So you can actually twist the tail. The head will move. The jaw will snap when you press the button. So it's really awesome. Um, this is not exactly a um, new figure, but I wanted to do a comparison. So this is the new PSO um, T-Rex and this is the older version. So I wanted to get the feedback from you guys, you know, which do you think is better? Yeah, do you prefer the, the new one or the old one? Okay, next up, what is this? This is a Lambiosaurus from PNSO. I think the paint scheme is actually inspired by a modern day giraffe so you can easily see a giraffe in my country to singapore so if you visit singapore you can actually you know find various of really really cool 
um, animals in the zoo and right over here we have a um, Caryphthosaurus which is known as the helmet lizard so check this out this little curved shape on top of his head which is a crest resembles a helmet a helmet which you wear when you're riding a motorbike okay um, what is this? Giganotosaurus a beautiful figure really nicely done but I have some issues with this cause the legs it can't stand well and it's starting to um um starting to form into a shape which causes a lot of unbalance yep so some balancing issues right over here for this figure which is happening to a lot of my pnso figures tylosaurus right here a beautiful tylosaurus there's no articulation on this this is actually from tepo okay a nice figure and this figure was added very recently um, to my collection, which is a W Dragon Giganotosaurus. So you guys can see the eyes are actually different. One of it is actually blind. Yeah. So this is the healthy eye. And this is the eye which is um, defected. So it comes with a um, movable jaw. Really beautiful figure. Love the paint scheme as well. Blue mixed with um, brown. So I would need the help of you guys to really help me think of a name for this, you know, fantastic looking T-Rex. I think it looks really cool. What about you guys? And I'm not done yet with the repaint. I'll probably add on um, more colors to it, okay? All right, let's see, let's move on, let's move on fast. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna sit down on the floor. I've been kneeling down, so I'm getting really tired. Okay, so. Yes, take a look at this. Some of the chest sets. So we have a um, Velociraptor, we have a Dilophosaurus. This is actually a Chilantosaurus, I think. I can't really remember, this is from Vitae, one of the very obscure species. One of the lesser known species, which you know, not a lot of companies they actually produce. Alio Ramers, yes, this is actually a Tyrannosaurid. God, you know, they actually came out this species in such a smaller, small size, so I was hoping to get a bigger one. Vagoceratops, which is a new figure I've got only last week, I think, from Safari LTD. Really, really well done, this figure, but the paint skin can be a lot more vibrant or um, there should be a bit, you know, a more color tones, I guess. This was added, um, I think, Probably within the last four months, a Pteranodon from Jurassic Park, a Dilophosaurus from Jurassic Park. This is a beautiful addition to my collection. It doesn't have any frill. Um, I mean, probably a frill is missing. I'm not too sure. Okay, so some imagine next figures right over here. We have um, a Velociraptor and we have a Ranger, I think. This is, um, it came together with the imagine next figures. We have more figures right here. This is Owen actually. Okay. Um, and blue. Yes, this is a new blue. Looks really cute. Looks really awesome. I'm gonna flip the box over. I'm gonna turn it over to show you guys. Sinoceratops wasn't really added recently, but probably in the last six months. Okay. Um, this is actually a sound strike, so you guys can see. The sounds are really awesome, really, really awesome. And um, Triceratops. Triceratops, Sunnestripes versus Sunnestripes. I definitely prefer the Sunnestripes more. What about you guys? And um, what is the name of this? I can't remember the name of this species right here, so I need the help of you guys, okay? Um, yeah, I'll prob probably think of it, you know, halfway through the video. So this is a um, Postosuchus from Schleich, which was added very recently as well. Looks really amazing. I think Schleich, they produce really nice carnivores. And this, it's a, um, oh my goodness, this is like the most difficult to pronounce species. It's like Adopondatus, I, I can't remember, so I need the help of you guys as well. Okay, so this is basically a prehistoric marine creature from PNSO. Okay, and this one is a Pinacosaurus. Yes, it is 
a family from, I mean, this is actually from the Ankylosaur family. Okay. What about this? Need the help of you guys as well. It looks like a Sauropelta, but I don't think it is. This is not a Velociraptor. This is more like a Deinonychus, which is slightly larger than a Velociraptor. Stegosaurus has been added recently as well. This is my first Stegosaurus from Peppo. Beautiful um, paint scheme, really love this. So you can see there are four spikes at the end of the tail and this is actually known as the Phagomizer. Yep. And the plates on um, its body are supposed, was supposedly to give up heat, emit heat um, so that the body temperature can be um, decreased. Okay. Um, right over here, we have a Conotaurus, which is known as the meat-eating bull, as you guys can see. It has really slender and long legs, which means it is really able to run uh, really fast. It is much smaller than a T-Rex, but, you know, faster than a T-Rex, I suppose. Parasaurolophus, which is known as the near-crested lizard. This, um, crest right here, paleontologists, they have different opinion of what this crest can do. Some you know, believe that this crest allows it to breathe underwater and some basically just mentioned that this is probably like a display, a static display to attract um, mates. Okay, what about you guys? A Magosaurus right over here, it's a sauropod. As you guys can see, the spine, neurospine bones looks really nice. Okay, it's a huge sauropod. And this is Trodon from the Camp Cretaceous series which was added to my collection very recently as well. Microraptor from Pinesso, as you guys can see, this is a beautiful um, figure. It has a shiny coat of paint across the entire body. So the feathers, you can see there are like secondary feathers, primary feathers, different layers of feathers. And right over here, we have a hybrid dinosaur. What is a hybrid dinosaur? Basically, they mix the DNA of um, two or more different dinosaurs together. And this is actually um, a combination of a Magosaurus, which I've shown you guys just now, which is right over here, and Spinosaurus. So this is actually known as the Amago Spinus. Pretty weird name, and pretty weird to actually combine a um, herbivore and a carnivore together. And over here, we have a super huge Velociraptor. And um, this is actually a, um, a figure from Jurassic Park, pretty vintage. Not too sure how you can actually move the neck. Yeah, but this is pretty cool. Okay, this is not exactly a vintage um, Spinosaurus. This is a 2015 mini chomping Spinosaurus. So the tail is able to move the neck when you just push it down, okay? All right, so now we are left with some mini figures. Of course, this is a um, Draco Rex, I think. This shouldn't be a Sticky Moloch, it should be a Draco Rex. We have a Jurassic Park 3 Velociraptor. And plenty of small figures, let's check it out. Spinosaurus, this is a chest piece. This is probably the queen, I'm not too sure. I'm not a huge English chest um, fan. So this is a Brachiosaurus. You can see it is standing on its hind legs, you know, reaching out to the leaves on a tall tree. The Lophosaurus, this is actually when its frill is opened. So this is basically triggered by some predators or, you know, some prey. So it's opening its frill just like a peacock opening its feathers to show dominance and to show and to intimidate um, the opponent. So we have a Spinosaurus right over here, which is from Jurassic Park 3. I really love this paint scheme because it has like, you know, shiny blue splash of paint across the entire body. Um, we have a, another one, which is in a different paint scheme. Okay, this is actually a um, new species. Uh, let's see, Utah Raptor. Yes, this is a Utah Raptor. And where is this from? Is this from Collecte? Yes, this is actually a Utah Raptor from Collecte. Really small figure. And I really love this mini figures. And this is from, I can't remember, Science and Nature. Yes, this is a Conotaurus, a mini Conotaurus figure. Looks really cute. 
This is a vintage Jurassic Park Triceratops. Um, another baby Triceratops, as you guys can see, it looks so adorable. The horns are actually not fully grown yet. Pteranodon flapping its wing, probably clinging onto a branch of a tree. And this is from Jurassic Park 3. Um, this figure, I need the help of you guys. Oh, but it is written right below. Mutabasaurus, yes, a um, this looks like a Iguanodon. It should be closely related to the Iguanodon. So if you guys can help me out, do comment down below. And this is a Pteranodon from Jurassic Park, another chess piece. One of the pawns, I guess. Baby Triceratops, we have two of this. And um, another figure from Science and Nature. So let's see whether we are able to see the name. Just give me one second while I have a closer look. Leonisaurus. Yeah, this is known as Leonisaurus. And we have a Jurassic Park Ranger from Imagine Next. And three more figures to go. This is a Mosasaurus from Science Nature. Really beautiful. Really beautifully painted as well. Small figure. And our last figure of the day, it's the Velociraptor. Let's see whether we are... Oh, there's one more right here, which is a Pteranodon. So as usual, I'm going to show you guys my top three most favorite figures from this box. Okay, number three. This Spinosaurus right here. The Extreme 2021 Spinosaurus. Second is our T-Rex. I need the help of you guys. I need to think of a cool name to rename this. I call this T-Rex Jungle for now, but I really need the help of you guys to give it a really cool name. This is actually not black in color, it is actually dark green with like splashes of other green paint across the body. So please let me know whether you guys think this is cool. On Wednesday, I'll probably do a nice review on this with my other super colossal um, dinosaurs, if possible. And so that's my number two. And my number one, number one, you guys have guessed it, it is definitely the Mosasaurus. This is not the full figure. The full figure comes with a stand, it comes with a base, but this is my number one most favorite figure. So yes, thanks guys, thanks for watching this. I hope that you guys love this video. I'm trying to put my Mosasaurus away aside. So thanks for watching this. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, drop me a comment, and I'll try my best to reply to you. If you are not a subscriber yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and do check out Dan Surprise merch link down below as well. So stay tuned for more videos. I will see you guys on Wednesday for my review of my custom painted T-Rex. It is not fully done yet. We're gonna paint the scars, gonna paint the nails, gonna it's gonna look even more awesome. Okay, so stay tuned for the video. I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Goodbye guys.